Football Kenya Federation National Executive Committee has announced that the results from last season's Football Kenya Premier League, that's the National Super League, and Women's Division One League have been declared null and void. This means that Tasca's Premier League victory last June, which was their 13th title, has been voided by the Executive Committee. Bernard Ndong has more on, the, on this latest twist. In Kenyan football, there is far-reaching consequences. In a press statement released Wednesday evening, the Football Kenya Federation Chief Executive Officer, Barry Otieno, announced that the Executive Committee had voided the results of last season's Men's Premier League, the National Super League, the Men's and Women's Division I leagues, after meeting by the Executive Committee. The decision is part of nine resolutions that includes a new date for the resumption of the Premier League. According to FKF, the Premier League will now kick off on the 19th of November, on the eve of the FIFA World Cup in Qatar, with the National Super League slated to kick off seven days later. The Women's Premier League, which was won by Vihiga Queens, will now start on the 3rd of December. This latest twist could trigger litigation from aggrieved teams with the promotion of APS Bomet and Fortune Sacco from the Super League to the Premier League now in jeopardy. Vihiga Bullets and Madara United were both relegated at the end of last season, but that decision has been reversed by FKF. The executive committee was reinstated a week ago after they were disbanded by former Sports Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohamed in 2021. FKF has also announced that there will be no relegation or promotion in the men's and women's Division I leagues. Bernard Ndong, NTV Sports.